I hadn't been to the North Cascades in over 10 years, since before we moved to Luxembourg. I was really, really missing them. Especially Mount Baker and Mount Shuxon. I used to be up in the mountains all the time. My family and I would go snowboarding at Mount Baker. That's our son, Baker, who's named for the mountain. And friends and I were always riding our bikes up there. I even wrote books on the area. It had been over a decade since my last visit, and I was itching to get back up there. So I hopped on a couple planes, rented a car, headed up to Bellingham, where we used to live for 25 years. Yeah. Bellingham sort of marches to its own beat. Unfortunately, my wife Jen couldn't join me. But Baker could, so he flew up from LA where he lives. We wanted to see the sunrise, so we left Bellingham super early. Everything was bathed in this eerie light caused by forest fires up in British Columbia. Baker and I hiked the Chain Lakes Trail, which heads straight towards Mount Baker. Behind us, we watched the sun rise next to Mount Shuxon. It was spectacular. The Chain Lakes Trail is a good one because it starts high and has terrific views the entire way. The trail drops down into a basin of small lakes from which it takes its name. Then it climbs out of the basin with lake and Mount Baker views the whole way. Yeah, we're on the Chain Lakes uh, Trail, Jeff. You did this when you were pregnant, didn't you? So Baker has been here before. Yeah, I was going to say it's your second time. <laughs> <laughs> From Herman's Saddle, where we called Jen, Baker and I followed the loop back to Artist Point, where we started. Baker and I did a lot during that long weekend in Bellingham. We even went on another hike. I'd been away from the mountains for a long time, and this sort of felt like I was coming home. And being able to share it with Baker and Jen in a way that we've never done before made it even more special. Hopefully, it feels like a home to them, too. A home we can always come back to, no matter where we live. So bright. You're so bright.